Hey everyone, in today's video I will show you how to build a dynamic WordPress blog layout in Brooks Builder. No extra plugins needed. Perfect for beginners, we will create a single blog post on our cap page. Let's dive in. Bricks Builder is a powerful visual site builder that seamlessly integrates with WordPress, allowing you to design dynamic websites without writing a single line of code. Its intuitive drag and drop interface makes it accessible for both beginners and seasoned developers. The builder consists of four main areas, the toolbar at the top, the panel on your left, the canvas and the structure panel. Let's quickly go over each of them. At the top toolbar, you can switch between breakpoints for a responsive design, ensuring your site adapts to different screen sizes. Builder panel on the left, it displays elements you can drag and drop. It also shows controls for the selected element and includes key settings like theme size, templates. The canvas that's at the center, the main workspace where you visually build and adjust your website page. And on the right, you have the structure panel. You can toggle off by clicking on this icon. And it allows you to rearrange, copy, nest elements, paste, remove, and expand elements. And these tools make designing with bricks intuitive and efficient. And next up, I will show you how to add a custom text field to your WordPress posts using Advanced Custom Fields plugin and then display it inside Bricks Builder template. No coding needed. Let's get started. And you can do this with a CF free version. We need to create a new custom field, add a new. I call it condition. This post is about smart home appliance. So I want to display to the Bricks template if the product is, is a new product or it is a used product. So I will use the radio button. The field label is condition and the choices are new used in a new line. And next up, it comes the most important part, which is to set the location rules. And all you have to do here is to specify to show this field if the post type is equal to post, just like it is. Okay, let's done this and save the changes. Okay, great. Now, when I create or edit a post, I will see this custom radio field ready to be filled in. And so we are ready to create a single post template by using Bricks Builder, I need to fill in this ACF field on each of my posts. So let's get started. So navigate to Bricks, then Templates. Click to add a new template. Give it a name. I will call it Single Post Template. And from the right sidebar, select the template type, select Single Publish and add it with Bricks. Once Bricks Builder has been launched, I suggest you go to the settings to set the template conditions. And so click conditions, click to add the condition. The condition is set to post type and the post type is posts. As to populate content, we need to select the content type to show on canvas. So just write a few words. First, it's for a single page and the single post is one of my smart home appliance posts called this. Click apply to show the selected post content on the canvas. Within the builder, add a section element and in my section element, I want to give a margin top like that. And I press twice to rename it hero section. Press enter. Next, let's design the hero section, the prominent visual element at the top of our single post template, visible without scrolling. 
So within the section element there is already a container and let's rename it to hero. So click twice, rename it to hero container and I drag to my hero container a block. I call it hero wrapper. And next we had the hero elements and the best part is that we will add it dynamically. So for the hero wrapper click on the plus icon and add in basic text I have and the post excerpt. For the first basic text let's activate the dynamic data and enter post terms category. Delete the remaining text for the post title, delete this default text, select dynamic data and enter post title. The last one is the post excerpt. Simply I limit the excerpt length to 8 and let's align it to the center. So hero wrapper align to the center, just like that. Let's check on other devices. So switch to the mobile landscape and then to the mobile portrait. Pretty cool. No need further adjustments. The post terms category is linked to the taxonomy term. The post title is linked to custom URL and then enter here dynamically the post URL and that's it. Pretty good. Next I had another container to hold the feature image. Click on the plus icon, search for the image element, insert it and for the image element simply select dynamic data and enter feature image. Let's quickly align the media wrapper. So go to the content and then align to the center. I want to give it a 22 padding. And for the image, I want to assign a bricks, a large image. And I want to disable the caption type. And this is super easy to achieve in bricks. Under the caption type, just put no caption. Next up, I want to add the post content, the social sharing, the reading progress bar and the post navigation. And so to do that, we need another section and inside the container, just have look for post content, social sharing, reading progress bar, this one. And the last one is post navigation, this. For the post content, I have limited the text character limit responsive making sure the space and the sizing are consistent and it's responsive all across the different screen sizes before that we need to adjust the container alignment to the center and let's preview on the different screen sizes okay and the next move is to add the ACF field to the hero wrapper. So on the plus icon and this let's use a basic text. Under the basic text delete this. It's super easy to achieve this. Search here for ACF and there you have it. ACF condition. And now we can mix together static content with dynamic contents. So I just write here material Okay, okay, let's check this out at the front end for different devices. Not bad. It's fully responsive and it, oh, this is only using native Bricks Builder. No extra plugins, just pure Bricks Builder. And the next up, I start building the archive page by using Bricks. Let's, let's dive deep. Creating an engaging archive page layout in Bricks Builder can be achieved through two primary methods, utilizing the post elements or employing the more advanced query loop builder. Let's go through step by step for both approaches. Method number one is by using the post elements. So we will go to Bricks templates in your WordPress dashboard. You click to add a new one. You call it whatever you want. I will go with log archive and set from the right sidebar the archive type. Publish and then choose edit with bricks. 
We will define now the conditions to specify where this template applies. So, for the template settings, we will say to show post type and the post type is posts. Now let's go to the canvas to design the archive layouts. So we begin by adding a section. Within this section, search here for posts. This is, this is a placeholder in the builder that tells Bricks to fetch the post content. Under the layout tab, choose the grid layout and set it to three columns. I've got only three blog posts and the spacing. Let's go with two M's, but you can go, for example, with two columns, one column. Or we can go with the first post for width. Let's try this. And if we view it at the front end, this is how it looks like. It's a very nice design layout, especially when you have lots of blog posts. And now we can customize the style options, such as the spacing, the sizing, the borders, and over effects to match your site's design. I'm not going over this. One particular thing I recommend you doing is enable this option, link to the entire post. This is a very clever way to do this, since on the front end now, my viewer can click on the title, but also on the image itself to go straight to the single blog post. Instead of using the grid layout, you can go with the list view, like this, or you can go with a main three layout, and when this layout is enabled, all post items become child elements. We can customize the number of columns, but you have to have different image sizes in order this to work. Or you can go with the metro design layout, and this is a layout that aligns the element in a mansory style. We can select different columns and thumbnail type for each item. Method number two is by using the query loop builder. So I'm going to build below this first method number one. And so I enter here a section to enable the query loop to activate the dynamic content rendering. Inside the container, I put a block element and they serve as wrappers. Then on the block element, I activate the query loop by switching this icon and this allows me to, to query my database and renders the query results I want dynamically. And the render process is based on my own query parameters. And so once enabled, you will see this query control item, which means all elements inside this block will be repeated as often as there are query results. So the type, it supports three different object types, posts, terms, and users. The first one is the default query type, and this is the one you should use whenever you want to display a loop of posts, pages, media files, or custom post types. Check the links in the description box if you want to learn more about custom dynamic media gallery using Bricks Builder. The terms type should be used if you want to loop through the different terms of a taxonomy. And the last one is for use cases when you want to list team members, for example. So I go with posts and the post type is posts. Therefore, I need to insert the items below my block element. So I insert now an image, a block, and inside I insert a heading, a basic text, a reading time element, and a text link to make things easy. And so for my image, let's retrieve my feature image. So click on dynamic data, write down feature image. Then for the heading, just delete this. And I go with post title, a basic text, post excerpt with 20. 
the reading time. It's perfect as it is. And the text link, I change it to read more. And then I do the linking between this. I just enter my post and that's it. I also want to disable this text. So in the caption type, just select no caption. And now to change the alignment, simply go to the direction I changed to horizontal and then I adjust the padding on the container level so I enter by using fluid spacing and then on the block level I just change the direction to horizontal and that's it you need to now to make some adjustments on the spacing but it's good for me now so if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for more bricks builder tutorials drop any questions 